Hey guys, it's Zach. Um, I want to talk about my uh, jealousy and be enraged today. So, I don't know why I get this way, but I get so envious, jealous, and angry when when I have been open and out about being trans longer than other people have, and they get further before me. And I don't, I want to support them and be proud of them, but I'm so angry and anxious at the same time. Because, I'm like, that should be me. I should be on T. My name should be changed. My parents should be supporting me. Why can't I have that life? Why, why? It's not fair. And it kind of makes me hate them. And that makes me a bad person. And watching other people talk about how they've been on tea and stuff really bothers me because I'm nowhere. I keep saying it. And I, I really am nowhere. I've been on since my freshman year. I'm a junior now. And I really hate it. Like, I'm seriously depressed about it. And no one, unless they're going through what I'm going through now, can understand any part of this. And, uh, my girlfriend lives with a transgender. I'm not gonna point names, and I'm not gonna do anything like that, but let's just say that he was known as something else before he came out as trans and I'd been out way way longer before him whether he's known it inside him or not I went through struggles of telling parents friends school everything before him now he's an adult and he got his name changed and he's on T and his voice is dropping and he lives with my girlfriend she doesn't understand it. She doesn't understand my hatred and jealousy rage towards him. And it's not like he's probably necessarily a bad person. I don't really know the guy. And between me and like a lot of people, I don't care to know him. I just want to be where he is right now. Because sooner or later, he's just going to start post-op surgery. And I'm still going to be here hitting my reflection. I mean, he's been on T for a while now. And on the phone, I hear him on the phone. And he sounds a lot different, like a guy. And he's constantly telling me that I don't sound like a guy on the phone. Or I don't sound like a guy, period. He's saying that I have a really high voice and just talking about all this hair he's getting and he gets really angry instead of upset like I do because I still got certain hormones in me and I get upset and stressed and I could just honestly like ball my eyes out and he's he's stronger he's like he was naturally a big built person and now he's just getting even more built and he looks good with like the short buzzed hair and I can't I can't pull that off I can't pull any part of that off I gotta keep my long hair kind of long I guess this is not even really long I gotta I can't have it shaved though it won't look right I don't get big muscles like he has even when he wasn't on T but my point being I had just been out longer than him and my mom doesn't get it either she keeps every time I tell her well he's blah 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 and he's this far and I just want to get a little nudge here just like just some counseling like that's all I need like I don't even need to start tea while I'm underage just let let me have counseling let me talk to someone and it's It doesn't, it doesn't even phase her. And I don't know if you guys can relate, but I'm just letting you know that when you see me 
and you still have long hair, and your parents still call you she, and none of your friends recognize it, or anyone at school, I understand. I understand how you're feeling, because I was you too. And now you're going to be in my shoes someday, sitting here, talking about the same problems that I'm having. You want to be proud for that other person you do, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm happy for him and excited. But at the same time, I'm jealous. You're not alone. And for anyone who, who can't understand, I'm sorry, I try. I'll see you guys later.